How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Trailmakers. Now today is a very big day for Trailmakers because finally this game has made its way to Steam Early Access. And that's a very good thing. Now you guys can actually pick it up if you enjoy it. And uh, we're going to be starting off the new expedition mode. There's supposed to be a whole new world to explore. Uh, so yeah, we are starting legit from scratch right now. So it's been so long since we last played too. Uh, there's probably a lot of changes that has happened. Most importantly, we have, like I said, a whole new world to explore. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing for a cutscene. I was going to go over to look at the world, but it actually showed us it. And uh, that is definitely a different world. The principles of building. Bur build your first vehicle. So how Expedition works is you start off with a very bare minimum amount of equipment and you have to explore the world unlocking new equipment to make your vehicle better. It's actually very fun because the terrain becomes very difficult for these simple vehicles. So we're going to quickly make something here. It's actually a tutorial so we have no choice but to make something. But uh, you can kind of see if you've never seen how the Trailmakers building works. Well now you can see it and it is fantastic. The best building in a game that I have ever seen. It's just drag and drop, as easy as pie. I guess pie is easy. I, why, why do we say that? Is, is that a common thing to say, or is that just something I say? Is, is that a Dreism? It could be a Dreism. I have no idea. But it is as easy as pie. Building in this game is the best experience ever, in my opinion. Uh, and it's why I love Trailmakers so much. All right, so I've done this tutorial a few times. That's why I'm doing it so quick. But we're making a very basic vehicle right now. Select all blocks. Okay, it wants me to save the vehicle. Uh, that's how you save vehicles, by the way. You just drag and save. It's the greatest thing. If more building games were that good at building, they would be so much more popular, I feel like. All right, so here we are. We are at the starting of our world, and the way Expedition works, like I said, is you go throughout the world, but you have limitations. It's really cool. For example, there might be a hill we can't get up with this current vehicle or something, and we have to build something that will be able to get up that hill. Ah, uh, so thumbs up. All right, cool enough. If it ain't broke, you didn't drive fast enough. Fair enough. Not like we can drive that fast right now. This thing is not the most speedy. I mean, we're, we're going 65. Is that miles or kilometers? I have no idea, but we're going 65. And check out how beautiful this game is. I've always loved the art style of this, especially like the dust kick up and everything. It just looks so good. And I gotta say the world, my God, it looks so much better now. Oh God, we're doing a jump. All right, no wonder why we're going on right now. We're going down a hill and right into a jump. And <laughs> oh, these cutscenes are so cool. What an introduction to a game. That is intense. Trailmakers Early Access. Here we are. Hold on to her. All right. And now it probably just throws us directly into the gameplay. So can we break these? Oh, my God. Yeah, we can. I was wondering if there'd be loot in there, but I guess there isn't. Okay. So now we have to, if we open the map, it's all coming back to me. Uh, so we have the start point over here. Why can't I drag up? Player oriented. Uh, yeah, let's do that. There we go. So I'm assuming we're that golden dot. As we go and unlock the map, we should start seeing things we can unlock. I'm seeing something on the hill over there. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we have what it takes to get over there just yet. Because uh, we definitely need some more speed. Unless... Oh my god, can these things... Oh, I, I think I just sunk it. Oh god, piranhas! Okay, yep, that, that is not how to do that one. <laughs> I was just wondering if I could. Well, at least we get to do the cool jump again. I had to restart. Oh, it didn't do the cutscene now. We only get it once, I guess. So, uh, there should be, before we do anything too crazy, there should be a checkpoint over here. Oh, I love the grass physics. You can actually see the grass being impacted by our machine. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go that way right now, but I know there's something over there. That's the important part. We're going to explore a lot today, by the way. We don't have the resources to do too many crazy things with our craft so we have to unlock a lot of those right now it's telling me to build right now i'm gonna have to build my power core i just want to get to the checkpoint right now so there we go more engines equals more speed that's how it works so we got uh another bulldog engine here let's throw that one on we unlock that i'm assuming that's what the power cores are and yes as you can see we don't have any more of those so we can only have two engines right now there's really not much else currently that we can use, but don't be confused by thinking that there's nothing in this game to build. You have to unlock those things, so we're going to go look for some of those right now. We got two engines, so we should 
Uh, that's a smaller hill. There's definitely something up there, so let's go up there. If we can make it, of course. We're going. We got two engines this time. I might need a running start. Nope, no problem at all. Consider the distribution or the weight distribution of your vehicle. Yes, uh, weight distribution is important. Right now, we're so small, we don't even have to think about that just yet because we're too slow to even worry about weight distribution. I don't know why I jumped out of my car. I could have drove up here, but we got another power core. So that's three engines already? All right, let's throw that other one on there. We're gonna need it probably to get up the next hill anyways. And hopefully now we have the power to get up this next hill. It's gonna be, oh, actually, yeah, no problem. A little bit tight at the top there, but no big deal. And another power core? Man, you're just giving me all the engines at the start. What's this nut? Uh, a bolt collected. Pick up more bolts to unlock another accessory. Okay, interesting. We get accessories? What's over, there's gotta be something over here. Unless, nope, it looks like it's just an abrupt ending. Ah, uh, we definitely got another building block down here. The green things are the new block. So there's a block over there, too. Um, we got a block one by two. Uh, all right, let's hit this checkpoint. And I don't want to miss anything, so let's go this way. We got bolts to pick up over here anyways. This is so freaking cool. So yeah, when they said this is a whole new world, this doesn't look familiar at all to me. So I think it is legit a whole new world to explore. I'm gonna try and get as many of these bolts as possible, but we need to get 160. That is a lot of bolts, man. Looks like there's some on this half pipe. What? There's some in the middle of the half pipe? How the heck are we supposed to? Yeah, that's not gonna happen with this current craft. Uh, I think it's kind of meant to be something that we have to come back to get when we get bet a better vehicle because I don't even know if we can get these side ones. Are we fast enough? Yeah, we should be able to get those if we get a good running start. All right, here we go. This is as fast as I've gotten it. Yes, we almost got above it. Oh, that's not good. So yeah, I think there's no chance of me getting the other one. I just want to get this side one if I can. Oh, see, the problem is once I get on this, it just totally screws up my traction. So come on. There we go. There we go. And full speed. Full speed up. Come on. Just touch it. We got it. All right. All right, back out into the sunlight. I just wanted to check. I saw that there was another item. Yes, it's right over there. So I didn't want to miss any of the items because they're obviously the most important. So, oh, we actually got two nuts here too. Bolts, not nuts. Bolts, damn it. All right, so we got to get across this. Ooh, that's going to be... Oh, we did unlock that one block. Okay, so yeah, that's a little bit too tight. So what I'm going to do, because I wanted to widen this anyway, so this kind of worked out in our favor is we're just going to pull these wheels off and widen it by the one by 2 block. So we can just put that on there and do the same thing for all of those. And then we should be a little bit more stable as well. All right, we got that wide stance now. That should hopefully not be too wide because uh, it is pretty wide now. But yeah, you know what? That's actually perfect. Now, is that electricity? Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, God. Keep it in the middle. Oh! Okay, we got the bolts. That scared me. Oh, God, I'm falling. Oh, no. What the heck? What is that? What? 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 Excuse me? It's so blurry. There's freaking pterodactyls or something along those lines. I am almost falling off this. You know what? Full throttle. Get off of it. Whoo! That was close. Didn't want to run the risk there of falling into the water and losing it all. So let's get this bolt. I got it right this time. I called it a bolt. And what is it up here that we have? A small grid block. All right, well, we got another thing unlocked. I'm not gonna use that right now, but at least it's there. There's gotta be something up this hill, so let's head over here. Hopefully we got the speed to do it. I think I have a power core I can throw on here, but look at that. It's spinning, but it made its way up. Oh, there's actually another power core up here, so it's a good thing we came up here. Perfect. I guess what we may as well do since we're here, and I'm worried that we might be putting too much power on this thing if we do any more than this. Let's keep it like that for right now. We'll see if it can handle this. This thing doesn't have a very long wheelbase, so adding too much speed might be a bad idea. Wow, is this thing fast now. All right, but I keep forgetting those damn checkpoints. Let's get the checkpoint this time. It's right over here. How fast are we going now? We're going over 100. Oh, yeah, we're actually getting air on the low ground here. It looks like there's a huge race up above or something. Let's just go up here and see what happens. More engines, more speed. Yes, indeed. And we clearly needed those engines to make it over here. Look at this. What is that over? That has got to be a race or something. We got a huge loop-de-loop -loop over here. We're definitely going to do that in a second. And unlock. I'm just going to go over here to check real quick. See what's down on this side of the map. Doesn't actually look. Oh, God. 
Oh my god! Didn't expect that. It's a good thing we hit the checkpoint. All right, well, let's get the closer checkpoint at least. And, oh, we got a raw engine and another power core. So, that's interesting. Raw engine. It's got to be a better engine. We'll deal with that later. Right now, I'm actually pretty happy with the speed and maneuverability of this. So, I don't want to change too much since it's going well. We should. Oh, my God. No, don't, don't. Okay. It, it, it didn't blow up. That's the important part. We got a block over here. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. All the blocks so we can make whatever the heck we want. Uh, this one's a 1x4. One That's going to be useful. I want to do the loop-to-loop. -loop. I think there's a bolt on top of it anyways. So let's actually... We got multiple cameras here. Do we want to do first person? Yeah, first person's the only way you should do a loop-to-loop. -loop. So I don't know how much speed we need. Hopefully this is good enough. Let's go for it. And we'll see what happens. Oh, God. Oh, this is harder than it seems. Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. I'm spinning out. Oh, all right. We're okay. That was a little bit of a hard landing. But we did it. Not really sure how I'm going to get that bolt. The bolts don't really matter too much to me. So let's just keep going. Uh, I just want to make sure I get all the blocks. Now, uh, I'm just too curious. What the heck is up here? We'll deal with the other bolts that we leave behind later. I, I'm wondering, is this a race? Or what is this? Or is this just the starting? It's got... We have a race thing on it. So I got to assume that's what it is. Pro progress saved. Um... Oh, it's an area. Okay, so, wow, we only got four out of 11 blocks. We got all five power cores and 12 out of 40 bolts. So you can kind of get the idea of how much is out there and how much we missed. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of blocks we still have to go back and get. I think we're going to keep progressing forward, though. I didn't, I, I didn't expect we'd miss that many, but uh, clearly we did. I just want to see what's ahead of us. Oh, it actually tells you what there is, too. So we have 12 blocks here. Uh, four power cores and a bunch of bolts. Hold tab to view the camera. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's just do some jumps here. Why not get the bolts? Ooh, is this going to be a good landing? Oh, perfect. All right, I'm seeing a block ahead of me, though. That looks like a great block to have. A good base block. A four by eight. Perfect. Uh, get the checkpoint here real quick. Now, we can go back to that other area later, and we definitely will do that. Oh, God. Coming into the boxes. But there's just so much stuff around. That's what I wanted to find, the suspension springs. I wanted to start finding some of the better stuff that we can actually use to upgrade our vehicle. So we'll definitely throw some suspension on here in a second. I just want to go up here and see what's up here. Gotta say, uh, last time when we played the closed, it was probably a closed alpha, it felt very linear. Now this feels like an open world. I, I can kind of explore it, go wherever I want to go, and that's really cool to me. So we'll go this way. Oh, keep it in straight. Oh, I'm getting the hang of how to keep it straight in the air. At least I'm not blowing it up. What the heck is that thing over there? Can you see that? It looks like a tube we can go in. Yes, please. Oh, that, that was an abrupt turn. Okay, tis but a scratch. Watch out for explosive plants. Excuse me? Explosive plants. Ah, uh, like these things? They're explosive? No, they're not explosive. Okay, I risked it there. I don't know what it's talking about. Watch out for explosive plants. We're going to have to watch out, though, for explosive plants, clearly. All right, this is what I was talking about, though. I thought we could go inside of it. We can hit the checkpoint, at least, but... Uh, yeah, we still got to find everything. Another power cord. We're finding all the stuff here. Okay, we made our way out to the beach. Uh, oh my god. Look at that hill. I wonder if we could do it. Oh, look at this. Dude, that is so cool. How are you supposed to do that last one, though? You're going to have to rock it off, probably. So, there's so many different things you can do now. You can ride this pole, for example. I mean, there's just a bunch of different areas you can go to. Uh, I want to try and do this big hill, but I kind of want to try and see if we can do this as well with this little uh, vehicle. So let's give this a shot. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, God. I don't know if it's going to go well, but the uh, problem is this thing's very hard to control. I do need to work on my vehicle a little bit. Oh, God. All right. Full throttle. Hopefully that's enough speed. Yes, there we go. There we go. Slow down. Now, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get all of them, but I should be able to at least get one. So let's go. Hope for the best. Oh, actually, that's a wind tunnel. Oh, I got a troll face thing. Unfortunately, none of them. I couldn't even get the last one. That is so cool, though. So it's a wind tunnel. All right, so let's start building this thing a bit better. Now, what I'm going to do right now is do kind of like a drag racer. I do like a good drag racer. So 
We're going to, uh, I'm going to totally get rid of this block. I want it to be nice and thin, at least in the front. All right, so that's good. And in retrospect, we have to do this anyway, so I shouldn't even have set this up because we definitely want the suspension. Let's rotate that. Just rotate it this way. There we go. And throw it on there. So now we got some actual suspension. That's going to allow us to hopefully deal with these bumps a little bit better. Tip multi-select. Hold left mouse button and select any number of blocks you want to move. Copy and delete or rotate. That is so cool. I didn't even notice that was a thing. So there we go. You can actually select two. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, do I have to actually tell it to rotate? Okay, I don't know if I like this or not, to be honest. Uh, fast building. Oh, now I'm just telling it to... God, I really screwed it up. All right, so you can tell it to move multiple blocks. You can tell it to copy as well. You can tell it to rotate the whole thing. Uh, you can also tint the block. All right, so there... Oh, God. Um, wheels, I don't want you that far away. Okay, that one's going to take a little bit of getting used to. That was interesting. And uh, you, what you have to remember in this game is the camera angle is how you, it angles the blocks immediately. So if I want it to go this way... Well, that didn't work either. Now it's upside down. All right, so clearly I'm still learning this. I thought that's how you could uh, keep those intact, but uh, it didn't want to do that. So there we go. At least you can double click the blocks, which is nice when you just want to, for example, add suspension. You can do it much easier now. So we got suspension on the front. You know what? That suspension widens the load quite a bit. I was going to keep this nice and wide in the back, but now that I'm looking at it, we're going to get rid of these two blocks at least. Uh, we're going to delete that, and I'm also going to start moving the engines. Actually, I might even change these engines. Since we got a new engine now, let's check out that thing in a second here. Let's just get our suspension done. So let's just quickly delete all of our engines here. Start off with the good engines, the raw engines. Wow, they're much bigger. Okay. We might only want a couple of those because uh, this is going to be a lot more powerful. So let's do, let's do two engines on the front. We'll see how it can do with just that. All right, we're going to save this car since it took me a while to build. And there we go. It's nice and saved. Try it out here. See how fast it is. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. It's so much bigger. I'm going over 100 already. So we can definitely probably get up this big hill. All right, I'm going to give it a good shot. Let's see if we can actually... Let's see how close we can get at least. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I thought having 100 speed would be more than enough. Clearly, uh, we're gonna need to throw a little bit more on this thing. All right, so there's three engines. Can we throw another one of these on here? Yes, we can. That is maxed out. So these engines must be considered more power cores than the other ones. Does it actually say somewhere? Uh, power, 1,600, 3,900. It doesn't actually say how many power cores it takes, but I know that's the max we can do. So let's see if this is enough speed. Don't think it's gonna be, but we're going really fast now at least. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, we're not even close. I gotta go find some more power cores before we do that one. All right, we found... What is this one? We found another block. A raw jet engine again? Or is that a different... That is a different one. Oh, it's a jet engine. That's actually what we needed. Uh, oh, there's another block over here. Okay, let's save. Where does it... Okay, so it doesn't show up on the map anymore, I don't think. Where's the player? Uh, yeah, I'm because I'm right here, and there's nothing showing up in terms of items. So I was wondering why they weren't showing up on the map. I think they did before. I, they must have turned that off now. So somewhere over here, though, is another block. Let's go see if we can... Oh, my God, find it. Yeah, it's got to be right here. Oh, slow down. Don't, don't, don't flip it. Don't explode. Okay, we're okay. There's a block. No, it's... Because I've been here. It's not in here, that's for sure. Unless it's, like, on the side of it. Oh, can we get through there? It looks like there's a little walkway. Can we do the loop? That's the big question. Yes, we are now fast enough. All right, let's, let's go get that bolt then. We can actually do the damn loop. So there we go. We got another bolt, at least. Uh, but I don't know how to get... It's got to be... Because I went this way. And that's the jump I did. So where the heck... It's got to be down here, maybe. Oh, wait, I'm back here. Oh, I can see it. I don't think we need to be in our craft. So I've been trying to look for this damn item for a while, and it's that easy, really. Oh, actually, it's off-road something. Off-road grill. Oh, I was hoping for some off-road tires or something. But I guess an off-road grill's gr good. At least I found it, so that's good. There we go. 
All right, there's another checkpoint down here. I'm just gonna keep moving on here. I want to see. Well, I want to see what this does. Have you tried adding more jets? I have not tried adding the jets yet. That's something we will be doing. Okay, actually, I think it tells you when it knows you're gonna screw up by not adding them. So I gotta head all the way back there. Uh, we're gonna throw some jets on this and see if we can get to the next area. All right, so we got the raw jet engines here. I'm gonna throw, uh, warning explosive, input key is space. So I'm gonna throw two of those on, oh, I can only throw one. That's fine, we probably only need one anyways. Check out that. Uh, this is totally not dangerous at all. So we're gonna try this out and see if we can get to that next zone, which is right over here. Oh God, a little bit of lag. Oh, it feels way different now. Just adding that one little thing has changed it drastically. We got the jet engine though, as you can see. Oh god. All right, keep it nice and straight because turning it doesn't really work. Speed up. There we go and jet. Oh. Oh. Almost. <laughs> All right, let's boost that engine and then hopefully it will be redone by the time we get to the end of this. And come on. That's as good as I'm getting it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man, I probably needed a few more upgrades to actually make it across that, but we did it with this little whatever this thing is. We got another power core here. We're much faster than what we started to be, that's for sure. Uh, and it looks like this is another part of the areas, so I think this is another area unlocked. Let's see here. If we go through this, yes, there we go. Now, how much did we get on that last one? I don't think, yeah, 4 out of 12 again, so I'm really good at getting... 4 out of 12, and I only got 2 out of the 4 power cores, so what I'm probably gonna do is go back and try and get those, because obviously we do want to get all the items. Uh, I just wanted to explore as much as I could today, so let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see me unlock a lot of the stuff, or do you want to see the world? Because I'm seeing more stuff right in front of us, as you can see, that will definitely help out our vehicle, but obviously getting all the unlocks will allow us to build the most amazing of vehicles. So we're going to wrap up this one here, though, guys. This was the first episode for the Trailmakers Early Access Update. Let me know what you think of this expedition mode. There's definitely more to do in the world now when you're playing solo, so that's fun. But if you guys just want to see me build some crazy things, we can always go to the sandbox and do that there as well. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.